Hello, and today we have a quick video about how to use the Excel sheet to calculate your own grade. Um, one of the things that uh, students always ask me in class is how am I doing in the class and what do I need to do to improve? And I found it very useful to use this Excel sheet to calculate your own grade so you can figure out the level of effort you need to be putting into improving your grade. So my Excel sheet looks something like this or um, you would have one where you only have the individual um, numbers or percentages for your particular class. They're usually available in the files section um, where I share files for you for the class. So if you have this Excel sheet, for example, the first thing you would have to do is you would need to find the class that you're in. So one of the most common class is macroeconomics. So um, what you have here in this column is basically the different assignments that you can take. What you have in here is a grade distribution according to the syllabus for those assignments. And what you have here in the yellow is where you have to plug in your own grade. The output that's going to come out here at the end will be the grade that you have. So let's say, for example, you took exam one and you got a 75 and you wrote the first article and you got an 80. Then let's say that you took exam two and you got a, um, let's call it an 80, and your article two was a 72. Now, the MyEconLab score, uh, sometimes I use software like MyEconLab or we use Connect or we use something else. Um, the percentage that I will be using to plug in there will be the overall score so the overall score, it will be the, the one that you will plug in here for that particular um, software. So let's say overall score on my econ lab is something like um, 72. Now attendance is something that you would have to kind of guess or you, would, um, you could ask if you want to know. Um, but let's say that you have participated in all the attendance assignments, whatever they are. If it's uh, completely online, it might be some kind of discussion board, participation. If it's in class, you would have to basically show up. So let's say that you participated regularly on all these assignments and you have, um, you're pretty much there all the time. All right, so this is kind of like the way you would look, assuming these are zeros. Okay, now let's say uh, you want to figure out how much effort you want to put into exam three so you can get, say, a B. Okay, let's say you wrote article three, you put a lot of effort on it, so you got 90, and then you want to know if you can get a B now taking exam three. So let's put a 90 there. Okay, see, with a 90, you can get to a B. Your final grade will be the number down here. Uh, remember, we follow the normal scale, so 60 is a D, 60 to 70 is a D, 70 to 80 is a C, um, 80 to 90 is a B, and 90 uh, or above is an A. So um, using the Excel sheet to calculate your own grade, you can kind of figure out by yourself um, what you need to be doing in order to obtain a particular final grade. All right, again, let's uh, take a different student. Let's say that this student is kind of struggling. So a student got a 60 on test one, a 60 on test two, uh, 65 on the writing assignments. And you want to figure out what you need to do in order to pass the class. So let's say in article three, you do uh, put some effort, get like an 80. So one question might be, what's the minimum score I need to get, for example, with those grades to get a C in the class? So let's put a 70 there. Uh, 70 is not going to do. We're going to have a little higher, about 72. Ooh, no. How about a 75? There you go. So with a 75, um, you can pass the class and get a C. All right? So again, this is the usefulness of um, using my Excel sheet. Um, I hope you like it and you play with it so you can figure out um, with the grades that you have, the level of effort I need to put in in order to figure out what your final score is going to be. Thank you for uh, listening to Professor Choi. Have a good one.